I was recently sent this microneedling set by Cure, which seems to be quite popular on social media right now. And quite a few of you have asked me about this as well. So in today's video, I will be trying this for the first time with you. Now, once again, I apologize about my voice. It has gotten much better, but it's not quite back. So hopefully it is not too annoying. Now, if you have been here for a little while, you know that microneedling is a modality I love and have been using for about 15 years now. When I first started microneedling, I used a derma roller because that's all that existed 15 years ago. But for about a year and a half now, I have been using a device called the Dr. Pen. And when I use my Dr. Pen, I use a stamping technique, which has given me great results. Now, if you are completely new to microneedling, I have a whole playlist on microneedling, which I will link down below. So please check that out again if you are completely new to microneedling. But really quickly in a nutshell, there are really three different forms of microneedling. The first one is nanoneedling. Nanoneedling, though it is called nanoneedling, really doesn't use any needles, but just these little pine-shaped cones, which just barely separate the cells of the stratum corneum, the outer layer of our skin, and that allows product to slip in just a bit deeper. So that is nanoneedling. Next, we have cosmetic needling. In cosmetic needling, we do use actual needles and we use a needle length of 0.2 millimeters to 0.3 millimeters. At 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters, we pierce the stratum corneum, again, the outer layer of our skin and we enter into the epidermis. We are still quite shallow. So cosmetic needling is also for product penetration, but product penetrates just a bit deeper than it does with nanoneedling. And then lastly, we have medical microneedling, also known as collagen induction therapy. In medical microneedling, we use a needle length of 0.5 millimeters or longer. At 0.5 millimeters or longer, we pierce the stratum corneum, enter through the epidermis into the dermis. Medical microneedling is known as collagen induction therapy because it does just that. It helps our body to produce more collagen. So when we enter with these needles into the dermis, we create a controlled injury. The body responds to this controlled injury with a cascade of reactions, which eventually lead to more collagen and elastin production. So these are the three different forms of microneedling I am personally familiar with. Now, interestingly enough, Cure, and they actually don't call this a microneedling system. They call this a microinfusion system. And they also say that this system is used for epidermal needling. Now, in my mind, epidermal needling is cosmetic needling because again, at a needle length of 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters, we pierce the stratum corneum and enter into the epidermis. However, Cure actually uses, and I emailed the company just to double check, they actually use a needle length of 0.5 millimeters which is technically medical microneedling, but we'll get to all of that in a second. First of all, let's take a look at what's in the box. So in the box is a headband, a micro infusion system, which I have not opened, six little boxes of serum, and then cartridges. So I am going to open this up right now and assemble this and then I'll get back to you. All right, so here we have our vehicle and this one already has a cartridge on top. And then this is one of the serums. Now they do have two different serums. They have a rejuvenating serum and I believe it's called a Hydra Sooth serum. 
and the company did ask me what I would like to try and I asked them to please send me the rejuvenating serum. So let's take a quick look at the ingredients in this serum. The very first ingredient is rose water in both of these serums. But right now I'm just going to talk about the ingredients in the rejuvenating serum. So the first ingredient is rose water and I'm not quite sure why <laughs> that is the first ingredient because rose water can be irritating to some. Next we have, and I'm probably going to butcher this, Samea propantiol, which is a preservative as well as humectant. We have vegetable glycerin, another humectant, niacinamide, which can be brightening, panthenol, another humectant with anti-inflammatory properties, tranexamic acid, which can help with pigmentation, chrysanthemum indicum extract. Again, I probably butchered that, but that is a form of chamomile. Tripeptide 1, also known as copper peptide. Oligopeptide 1, which is an epidermal growth factor. Elatonin, which can be calming to the skin. Xanthan gum, a thickener and stabilizer, as well as humectant. And lastly, we have SH oligopeptide 1, which again is an epidermal growth factor. Now it does say here that there is oligopeptide 1 and SH dash oligopeptide 1. I searched the internet back and forth. I couldn't figure out what the difference is between the two. And actually it was sort of used interchangeably. So I'm not sure why it is listed twice. But those are the ingredients for the rejuvenating serum. Now let's take a quick look before I start trying this with you at the claims the company makes. On this chart right here, they compare their system with what they call other at-home needling devices. But really what they are comparing it with is a derma roller. So what they are saying is that stamping doesn't over damage skin, which I agree with, and which is why I personally started using a stamping technique. Versus rolling can cause unnecessary damage of skin. And again, I agree with that. I think using a derma roller, especially if used incorrectly, can definitely do more harm than good. So again, they are comparing the system, not with other at-home needling devices, but with a derma roller. Secondly, they say that there is little to no downtime versus with a derma roller, there is slower recovery and longer healing time. Next, they say that new needles provide sharp, straight needles for every treatment, versus needles become blunt after several uses and create unnecessary skin trauma. And I agree with that. If we use a derma roller, we have to make sure we replace it quite frequently to make sure the needles stay nice and sharp. However, at this point, I think most of us use a microneedling device such as the Dr. Pen, which of course comes with fresh cartridges and we do use a fresh cartridge for every treatment. So these needles are nice and sharp and they are sterile. They also claim that disposable heads minimize risk of infection and irritation. This is again compared to a derma roller. Infection slash irritation is increased if not disinfected well. And yes, I agree with that as well. If we use a derma roller, we have to make sure to really disinfect it. And then lastly, they claim that this delivers serums directly to the skin to help increase absorption and results versus less effective absorption of serum as applied topically. I'm not sure I agree with that. If we use even a derma roller, and we pierce tiny little holes into our skin, the serum is going to be absorbed. Whether we use something like this, or again, a derma roller or a doctor pen. So I don't quite agree with that. But let's put all of this together and let's put it to the test. So what they say is to open this up. And like I said, I have not used this, so I might make a few mistakes. And then we're going to take our serum right here. And again, this is the rejuvenating serum. And 
yeah oh, i hate when that happens <laughs> so i have to try to somehow open this up i think i need to get some scissors to open this up i'll be right back the Calisum advanced hair care system which i love comes in little ampules like this and i have this problem with them every single time they did however tell me that they're going to change their packaging and they might already have changed it so i've got it so if this happens to you be really careful because you don't want to hurt yourself so i've got this open and i am going to carefully pull this in here now making sure i don't waste any now we haven't talked about the price point of this but we'll get there so i have this in here i am going to hi sammy close this up do you want to take a look at this huh <laughs> and then you are supposed to place this upside down for i believe two minutes and um and then this can be used so while i'm waiting for this to be ready as i mentioned earlier this system does use a needle length of 0.5 millimeters which technically falls under medical microneedling and like i said i have made a ton of videos on microneedling especially on medical microneedling and in those videos i always stress that we have to be very very careful about what sort of serums we use during and after medical microneedling. So we just looked at the ingredients of this particular serum. And to be honest, this is not something I would choose for medical microneedling. I like the epidermal growth factors and the copper peptides, but all the preservatives, the rose water, those are not things I would personally choose for medical microneedling. But let's see how it goes. Also, the company says, that they use 24 karat needles. I always suggest to look for either stainless steel or titanium needles. So again, I reached out to the company and asked why 24 karat needles? And they told me because they are hypoallergenic. However, stainless steel and titanium are also hypoallergenic, but gold is softer than stainless steel or titanium. So there is a risk of the needles bending, but this is a one-time use. So hopefully we won't bend any needles. They also say that the needles are hollow, so it helps with serum penetration. As I said a few minutes ago, I don't think it really matters if we have the serum in here and penetrate it that way, or if we use a doctor pen or even just a stamp and put serum on before or after because we are creating tiny little holes and this serum will penetrate. So personally, I think the 24 karat gold and the hollow needles are a bit of a gimmick, but this should be done. Let me use this <laughs> fancy headband and we'll get started. This is actually kind of cute and I will definitely reuse it. So I have nothing on my skin. My skin is completely clean. I double cleansed my face, neck and chest. I don't know if I have enough in here to actually do my neck and my chest, but just in case, I double cleansed my face, neck and chest. So let's get started. I'm going to take the cap off and here are the tiny little 24 karat 0.5 millimeter hollow needles. So I'm just going to do what I always do. And I always start at my jawline I don't think any serum is coming out of it. So I can see the needles penetrate. And this is not painful at all. I'm applying slight pressure, but not a lot of pressure, <laughs> just slight pressure. But it is not painful at all. It's what I would expect at 0 0.5 millimeters. And you can see that I'm getting a bit of erythema right here, a bit of redness. However, well, it does look like there is less serum in here. I don't feel any on my skin. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so we don't sit here all day. But I don't see any serum on my skin. So I'm hoping it's actually coming out. I do feel that there is 
maybe a bit less than that, I don't know. I'm going to cover this whole side right now. And hopefully we will have less serum in here. So what I like to do is just, I start at my jawline and then I go horizontally from the corner of my mouth or from down here all the way to my ear and I kind of go back and forth not overlaying so that's what I usually do with a doctor pen <laughs> not overlaying too much but making sure that I cover the whole area and we can usually tell by the erythema that is created that the area is covered so again I can feel the needles going in there's a slight discomfort, not much at all. And you can see I'm getting erythema. I can't tell if I have less serum in here or not, but I don't, okay, I can see some serum on my skin actually. I can see a couple of, it looks almost like a snail went over my face. I can see a couple of trails of the serum. So that's just sitting on my skin. It's not necessarily penetrating which again brings me the, to the point of if I just apply a serum, then use my doctor pen or a stamp, I will get the same results. But let's keep going and see what happens. So I have covered this cheek horizontally and now I'm just going to go and do the same thing vertically. So again, I would not call this painful at all. I wouldn't even call it discomfort. It's just a tiny little prickling sensation. Okay, I would say I've covered this pretty well. Let's take a look. So again, I do see that there is serum. I even have a tiny bit of pinpoint bleeding. You probably can't tell. I have two spots where I have a tiny bit of pinpoint bleeding. But the serum is definitely sitting on top of my skin. It's not necessarily going in even though these are hollow needles. So I am going to do the same thing on this side. So I've got this side covered as well. Again, you can see I have some nice erythema, but again, the serum is just kind of sitting on my skin. I'm going to do now around my mouth, my chin, my forehead, and this might just be enough to actually do my neck and my chest. We'll see. Again, I'll probably put this on fast forward unless something exciting happens. Around the lips is always a bit uncomfortable, but again, I wouldn't call this painful. And of course, around the lips, it's a bit ticklish actually, around the lips is where most of us would like to see some improvement. So that is an area I like to focus on. So I've got this area covered. So let me do my forehead. So my whole face is done. And as you can see, I do have some pinpoint bleeding in a few spots, which is to be expected with any length of 0.5 millimeters. But again, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but the serum is just sitting all over my face. Now it will eventually penetrate since I did create tiny little puncture wounds, but I really think this is quite gimmicky and the same can be achieved once more with a regular stamp or something like a doctor pen or even a derma roller. But I have plenty of serum left, so I am going to do my neck as well. All right, neck is done as well, and I still have some serum in here, so I will also do my chest, but I will do that off camera. So my thoughts on this are that this is quite gimmicky. Let's take a look at the price point and see what that is. So as I mentioned earlier, they do have two different serums and you can choose the serum you want or you can get a combination. But a one month supply, which is basically using the system twice a month or every two weeks is $99, which I think is a lot of money. And I think you're better off using something like a doctor pen or even if you want the simplicity, a stamp. Now, of course, a stamp is not going to be sterile every single time. You will have to disinfect it and you will have to make sure to disinfect it well. 
but it is very easy to use and you just use your stamp you apply a serum of your choice again at 0.5 millimeters which is technically medical microneedling we need to be really careful what we use but there are now so many serums available on the market and i will link some of my favorites down below which can be used for medical microneedling let's see if the serum has actually yeah the serum is now actually has now actually sunken into my skin but for the most part when i was talking to you it just sat on top of my skin so these 24 karat hollow needles really in my opinion don't make a difference so i have this system right now i'm going to use it up what they suggest to do is use this once or twice a month so either every two weeks or every four weeks Again, this technically being medical microneedling, I would say to only use it once a month because we do want to give our skin time to go through this cascade of reactions and then eventually produce collagen and elastin. But I have the system now. I am going to use it up once a month. If something miraculous happens, I will, of course, get back to you and let you know. But... I don't think that's going to happen. I am so used to microneedling. I'm so used to the stamping technique. I'm so used to microneedling with really good serums that I highly doubt I will see a big difference from this. But again, if I do, I will get back to you. If any of you have tried this and you have seen a dramatic difference with it, or for whatever reason you really love it, please let us know down below. But if you do your microneedling, regardless of cosmetic, nano or medical microneedling with a different device, different serums. Please also share your experience down below. I wanted to come back on here really fast to show you what my skin looks like the next day. So I used the Cure microneedling system or microinfusion system last night. It is now the morning of the following day. So it has been less than 24 hours. And as you can see, there really is hardly any redness left. I do have a couple of spots right here and a few on my forehead, but I wouldn't call that downtime. So they are correct. There is very little downtime with this system. In fact, I would say when I use my doctor pen or even a stamp at 0.5 millimeters, Usually the next day I do have a bit more redness than this. So usually I have a bit more downtime using a different device. I also did not react to any of the ingredients in the serum. So that's good news. But overall, I still think that this is a bit gimmicky and that it is overpriced. However, if you are completely new to microneedling, or some of you are a bit nervous about using a device like the Dr. Pen, which can be a bit intimidating, then something like this might not be a bad idea to get you started. Now, it doesn't have to be this particular system. In fact, you could just purchase a vehicle like this and they sell these on Amazon. And then you can just fill it up with a microneedling serum of your choice. But I definitely believe that these same results as can be achieved with something like this, can easily be achieved with any other microneedling device, as long as they are used correctly. So I hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And that's it for this video. And thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye.